At the timing of this video, COVID-19 has claimed about 820,000 lives worldwide. And here in the US, over 180,000 people have passed away. Flu season is approaching us in the next couple of weeks. So how can we tell the difference between COVID-19, the flu, and the common cold? Coming up. So let's look at incubation time. The incubation time with COVID-19 is anywhere from one to 14 days. Typically a person develops symptoms four to five days after being infected, but symptoms can appear as early as two days after an infection or as late as 14 days after an infection. The incubation time for the flu is shorter and typically a person develops symptoms anywhere from one to four days after infection. So what about the common cold? Usually it takes one to three days for a person to develop symptoms. So that does not really help very much, except that we learned that COVID-19 has a very long incubation time. So let's look at symptoms and symptoms onset. In COVID-19, the symptoms can develop gradually, but with some people, especially older adults, there's an abrupt onset of symptoms. Whereas the onset of symptoms for the flu are typically sudden and abrupt. The common call presents differently and the symptoms have a gradual and slow onset. So what about fever? Fever is rare with the common cold. Both COVID-19 and the flu typically present with fever. In a study looking at the classic symptoms of COVID-19, fever was reported by more than 78% of patients. The study examined more than 24,000 patients across various countries. Although it must be said an older adult can present with atypical symptoms and have no fever at all. Click on this link above examining atypical symptom presentation in older adults. So what about cough? Once again, both COVID-19 and the flu can present with a cough. And in that study I mentioned earlier, 57% presented with a cough. Similarly, in a report of more than 370,000 confirmed COVID-19 cases with known symptom status reported to the CDC in the United States, cough was reported 50% of the time. Mind you, the cough with COVID-19, as well as with the flu, is typically dry. It is interesting that in that study, approximately one in five test positive patients were never febrile and fewer than three in five developed a cough. Study authors do point out that some of the patients they were looking at were likely to have moderate to severe disease warranting hospitalization and thus testing. So they surmise that we might be even overestimating the true prevalence of symptoms in the population as there might be people who are asymptomatic or mildly symptomatic. The cough in a patient with the common cold is usually mild and can be hacking. Both COVID-19 and the flu, especially when symptomatic, the cough is described as quite severe. So if you're finding value in this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and you might as well hit that notification button. So what about the symptom shortness of breath? This symptom is seen with symptomatic COVID-19 patients, and sometimes seen with the flu. This is a rare symptom for the common cold. Interestingly, shortness of breath made up only 23% of presenting symptoms in the study I mentioned earlier looking at a spectrum of patients over various countries. Just as interesting, in the report to the CDC, shortness of breath was also only pre present in 29% of the patients. So how do we explain differences to previously published studies with higher percentages for shortness of breath? This was probably because previous studies and reports had more likely had a higher proportion of adults with more severe disease, whereas more recent studies included adults with mild symptoms due to the wider availability of testing. The study published in June of 2020 did conclude fever and cough are the most prevalent symptoms of adults infected by the SARS virus coronavirus 2. And if you're interested to see the difference between droplet infection and airborne infection, 
click on the link above. So what about fatigue? I'm not talking about the feeling when your wife asks you to get a cup of water for her and you're too tired because you had a hard day. Once again, COVID-19 and the flu share a common symptom and the feeling of feeling tired and fatigued is common. In fact, the feeling of extreme exhaustion is early and prominent with the flu. Fatigue is also sometimes present with the common cold. What about these list of symptoms? Runny nose, nasal congestion, sneezing. So here the cold does differentiate itself from both COVID-19 and the flu. Having a runny nose, sneezing, nasal congestion are common with the cold. It's less common with the flu and less common with COVID-19 and these symptoms are only seen sometimes. I might add that a sore throat is also more common with the cold, especially if post nasal drip is involved. This once again is only seen sometimes with both COVID-19 and the flu. Ah, what about GI symptoms? GI symptoms such as vomiting and diarrhea are once again rare with the common cold, whereas it can be present for both COVID-19 and flu patients. The report of the CDC found that 19% had diarrhea and 12% had nausea and vomiting. In that report, 370,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 were looked at. Of note, the GI symptoms are more common in children than adults with symptoms um, of the flu. So what about body aches? When I'm talking about body aches, the entire body is painful, which makes it painful to get up, and move and move along. Body aches are only slight and rare for the cold, but quite prominent for the flu. Body aches are also known as myalgias and is present sometimes for COVID-19. So what about headaches? Headache is another common symptom with the flu and it features only sometimes with COVID-19 and it's a rare symptom with a cold. In that report to the CDC among 370,000 COVID-19 confirmed patients, 34% had a headache. Compare the complications between the flu, COVID-19, as well as the common cold. And per the CDC website, the complications for both the flu and COVID-19 include pneumonia, respiratory failure, acute respiratory distress syndrome with fluid in the lungs, sepsis, a cardiac injury which can lead to heart attacks and arrhythmias, multi-organ failure, including kidney failure, respiratory failure and shock, a worsening of chronic medical conditions such as COPD, coronary artery disease, diseases of the nervous system and diabetes, and inflammation of the heart, brain and brain tissues, and a secondary bacterial infection. So these are bacterial infections on top of the COVID-19 infection or the flu. There are additional complications associated with COVID-19 and this, in, this can include blood clots in the veins and arteries of the lungs, heart, legs or brain and this can lead to a stroke or heart attack. And in children you see a multi-system inflammatory syndrome. These things are not seen with the common cold. Depending on the viral strain, a cold can last up to two weeks. Colds are milder upper respiratory illness with a runny, stuffy nose, usually without a fever. Having said that, your healthcare provider, your primary care doctor, might have difficulty distinguishing COVID-19 from the flu, or for that matter, even a very severe cold. Your doctor will order a test, a PCR test to test for COVID-19. He or she can also order a rapid flu test to test for the flu. You might ask yourself, can I get the flu and COVID-19? at the same time or in the same season? Yes, of course, both of them are caused by two different viruses. One is COVID-19 coronavirus and the other can be caused by a host of influenza strains. So stay safe and healthy. So question of the day, when your nose is runny and you feel congested, is your first thought, oh my God, I have COVID-19? Leave your answers in the comments below. And if you want to see other videos, you can click right here, or click right here, click right here, or click right here. Have a good day, and 
think your health. A bonus symptom, a symptom of COVID-19 is loss of taste. Well, according to my wardrobe, must have had it for a couple of years. Finally done. What the heck? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Try again, try again.